Filtering is one of the most used features in Excel. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you the basics of filtering. And in the next one, we're going to look at something called advanced filter, which is something that is really powerful in Excel. So let's start. To put a filter, you can click anywhere in your data. And then the first methodology is to use a shortcut. So you can do two shortcuts, either Control, Shift, and L. And as you can see, you get filters here. If you want to remove it, you can do also Control, Shift, L. The second one is Alt, A, T. And again, any of those shortcuts will help you remove the filter. If you want to do this from the menu, you just also click anywhere. You go to data and then you have filter here. You can add it and you can remove it. The final way to add a filter is going anywhere. Let's say here, green chips. I can right click, I can do filter, and then I do filter by selected cell value, for example, and you can see it will filter all my green chips. If you want to unselect green chips, you just come here and you click on select all. Now, how to use the filter, how to filter the values. So the first way is just to click here and then you have the options so you can check what you want. So for example, if I want Anna and I want Jonathan, so I can unselect the other two and then I click and I get all the values or the data associated with them. The other way to do this is to use the asterisk. So let's assume here, I want everything that has almond in it. You see here I have almond and here I have almond, right? So what I could do is star, then I write almond, and then I do star. What does it mean? Basically, when you put a star before the word, it means anything and then the word. If you put a star after the word, it means once you find the word, you can have anything afterwards, it doesn't matter. So when you say okay, you can see that I just got everything that has almond in it. The other way you could do this is by doing colors. So for example, let's assume that here I have a color which is this green and here I have a blue color. So let's select two of them with blue colors. I can go in this filter and I can do filter by color and I can select for example the blue and I'll get the values that are in blue. Now if you want to copy this data, you can just select this, do Ctrl C, then you can go to a new sheet and then you do Ctrl V. And as you can see, it only copied the selected rows or the selected data that you have filtered. And it's pretty handy. Now, if you want to remove the filters, obviously you can go in each one of them and select all, but this is very cumbersome. So one way to do this is to do the shortcut two times. So if I do Alt A T, I have removed my filters. I do Alt A T and I have put back my filters. The other way to do this, and I'm going to do Ctrl Z to get back this, is just to go here in data. You can click on filter one time and then another time and you are done. Next thing we're going to look at is how to filter dates. So here I have some dates. If I click here, I have date filter. So I have so many options if you can see here. So for example, I can select this month. So I can see the sales for this month and we are in April. So obviously I got the data related to April. I could also go here and I can say last month. So I get everything in March. Also for dates, you can use the between function. So if I go here, I can just do between and I can select two dates. Now, don't worry too much about the format of those dates because you have a calendar here. So if I click on this calendar, I can say, okay, I want it from 7 of Feb till, for example, 17 of April. And if I say, okay, you can notice here that you have the and selected. So it means it has to be after or equal the 7th of February and before or equal the 17th of April. So you click OK, you get your data filtered. There is another way to filter your data. So I'm going to unfilter this. I'm going to say OK. So we get all our data. So here, for example, I can go and I can select 
contains and I can use the or so for example if it contains Maria or it contains Anna so we can say contains and we say Anna we click OK we get all the sales for Maria and Anna now once you filter this if you do the sum it's not gonna work so if you do some of this the problem here is that if I select this you can see that I have 492 but this is giving me 1100 why because it is summing the rows that are in between this which are the rows that are hidden so if I don't want this I can use a formula called subtotal so I do equal subtotal open parenthesis it's very easy to use you can select what kind of subtotal you want so for example here I want the sum and then I need to select my data and then I close parenthesis what it will do it will sum only the visible cells so in case for example you remove this you can see that now it also has the other cells that were hidden so anytime you filter for example like this you will see that it will only take the visible cells so this is it for basic filtering if you liked it and you want to know more watch the next lesson I'm gonna put a link in the description and you'll be able to learn about advanced filtering features